Hi everybody, it's Becky and I am back. This is Charlie's Big Channel and I appreciate you stopping by again. If it's your first time, welcome. If it's not your first time, welcome. So either way, welcome. If you have two seconds to hit that subscribe button and give me a big thumbs up, that would be fantastic. That tells YouTube that you wanna see more like this and that helps keep me bringing you more videos like this. So I would appreciate that very much. Today's video is multi-purpose. Um, I was planning on it just being a very short little um, Christmas find. Yes, that's a balloon here. It's going to be for Halloween. Um, but anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, it was going to be just a short Christmas haul of some, some things I found at a store that's not super close to my house uh, that were a little different from other things that I had found. But I also decided I wanted to show you my boo bags that I did for Halloween as well. So we're going to start out with Halloween and then we'll phase over into Christmas and hopefully you'll get some good ideas. And I hope you're finding great stuff at your Dollar Tree also. If you know what a boo bag is or if you've done like Halloween booing before, um, basically what it is is you do a treat bag or a treat basket or something and you put this little note inside it and you hang it on someone's door and they find it and they don't know who gave it to them, but there's a little note for them to repeat the process to two more people. So it's a lot of fun and it kind of is, it's encouraging. And I really did it a little different. I kind of let people know, like inadvertently let them know that we left something because I think people are really funny right now with COVID and having children and things that they just want to be safe about what's left at their door, where it came from. And I certainly get that. So I'll show you um, how I did these, but here's two of them right here and they all have these balloons. The balloons came from Dollar Tree as well as these adorable boo bags. Okay, so I've got one sitting over here beside me that I can easily get to and just kind of show you what I did. So the bags, aren't those cute? And they've got like a round flat part on the bottom. So they hold stuff really well. They hold up really well. And of course the balloons, with helium were a dollar and I thought that was just perfect. It's just a little star, but they're black. So kind of Halloween themed. And then the bags have a handle and a drawstring. So, okay, that balloon's going to be bad. I'm sorry. Anyway, so I'm just going to open this one and you can see it's, it's full. So I'm just going to open it. Everything in it, um, with the exception of a couple of candy bars, everything in it is from Dollar Tree. So that makes it even easier. You can go in and you can get what you want. I did five boo bags just because we had five people we wanted to bless. So um, you can do however many you want. You can do one or two or, or none, whatever. So first of all, I'll just show you. Here is the little boo thing. Now, I just created this one on my own and it just says, you've been booed, enjoy the treats. Most of the time you would say the process and to repeat it to two more people. Well, there were a few people that I was really, um, I just wasn't sure if they were gonna be able to get out and about and, and be able to do that. So I didn't want them to feel pressured into having to feel like they were gonna have to do that too. So I just left that off and I just did this very simple, created it on my computer, printed it out, a few copies, and then I printed two on a page and then cut them apart. So that was super, super easy. And I just put that in the bag so everybody would understand the concept of what was going on. Okay, so first thing I got for the boo bag, I'm gonna move this out of the way because that um, balloon is casting a shadow. It's been a very rainy, dreary day and now it's getting dark and so the shadows are terrible and the lighting's not great either. Um, have you had these before? These are delicious. And this is a hefty bag of uh, TGI Friday's potato skins. This is cheddar and bacon. And like I said, nice size bag and fills up your boo bag pretty quickly with a nice brand name treat. And then Zaps, potato chips, New Orleans kettle style voodoo. I thought that that just kind of went with the whole Halloween theme. You may not think so, but I thought it did. I thought it was just a really cute addition to the bag. So I added those as well, a dollar bag. Not bad, not bad. I threw in gum. They have these, these full size packs for a dollar. Um, these are like $1.69, I think, in my grocery store. So, I think that's a good value. Um, I also, I have a few candy bars that I had grabbed during the Walmart candy clearance a month ago. None of it's expired at all. So, um, that makes it even better. It's good for like a year. Anyway, I got Starburst. Everybody likes Starburst, right? Skittles. And then these monster size Milky Way salted caramel. Y'all, 
yeah, just stay away from these. Don't even start the addiction. Just stay away. So these I added, and they were Walmart clearance candy. That's really the only thing I added that um, was not from Dollar Tree. <clears throat> I put tons of candy in here, and I'll just show you a few random types of candy that I put in here. I did, I should have saved the bags, and I didn't, because I didn't think I was gonna be showing this, and then a friend was like, oh, you should show everybody that. Um, cichlids, do you know what cichlids are? Cause they have them in the little Halloween colors and stuff. And so you get them in a big bag. And I was able with two bags to put just a big handful in every boo bag. And remember I did five. I also did like big bags of um, nerds because all the kids seem to love these today. So I did these, they came in pink and they came in purple. Here's the pink. So had just a handful of these in there as well. Had uh, the fun size Skittles. And these also were Dollar Tree. There were several in a pack and um, Reese cups because, I mean, can you really have Halloween if you didn't have a Reese cup? So yeah, there's that. Anyway, also got, these are really cute. It's eyeball bubble gum. I mean, gotta have something fun like that. So there's a handful of those as well. There's um, these fun blow pops. Always fun with blow pops bubble gum inside. And then I got a couple of bags of these random little creepy crawlies. There's like different color skulls and little spiders and things like that. And so I just got a couple of bags of those. I don't know, there was like 50 in a bag or something. And I just took a little handful, sprinkled it in each one. And then in the bottom, I'm going to pull this out and show you. Although most of you, if you watched the channel before at all, you already probably can figure this out. But I put in a package of Halloween plates that I picked up at Dollar Tree. And I picked these up like last month when they first put them out. So there was a good selection. So I put this on the bottom and it fit perfectly in this round part down here. Can you see how that just fits so perfectly inside? So yeah, it was great. And I think that, um, I think everybody's gonna love getting these. Um, so yeah, all that. And that is all that I got at, on the Halloween front. Everything else is gonna be either something just for the house or for Christmas. And believe it or not, um, I think I read something online like yesterday that said Christmas was like nine and a half or 10 weeks away. Anybody else scared to death about that? <laughs> I'm just a little worried about um, this year being so different for everybody. I really just kind of want to take my family and go to the mountains, put up a little tree and just have Christmas there. But, you know, we have some family that can't travel, so we probably won't do that. But nonetheless, what are you doing for Christmas? Drop me a note below in the comments and just tell me, are you staying home? Are you traveling? Are you doing a big Christmas, a small Christmas? Has COVID affected your Christmas. I hope not. I hope you're all blessed and healthy right now. A couple of things. This I found because I'm always looking through their books and with two grandkids, I felt like this was a classic. The pictures were great. The pages are slick. So the colors are very vibrant and the pages are slick. So it's not like paper thin and it's just a good classic book. I found this one and I was like, yeah, we're going to get that. And We'll just, you know, put it in the backpack and take it with us when we travel or things like that. So we'll have a nighttime story or something, but it's just, just a good book. I found it for a buck. I was like, yeah, I got to get that. So there's that. I also picked up a couple of things just that I needed. One was um, Cascade Platinum for dishwashers. Um, I know it's not a big bag. It's a smaller bag. There's what, four in here, I believe. Just four packets in there, but Y'all, dishwashing stuff is expensive. It's really expensive. And I was out, and I usually try to wait until I get some coupons and somebody has it on sale, and I can really put together a good deal. But I needed some to get me through the next week, so I just grabbed a package of this. And it's, again, brand name, and really a dollar for four packages of this platinum one. That's really not bad at all. So that was a good find, I thought. I also went ahead and picked up some of these because... It is great for a gift basket at Christmas to put a mug in it and then put one of these in it and some other little treats. And I think those are just really great little Christmas basket gifts or birthdays. They're great for birthdays as well. And these desserts, if you've had them before, you know, it's Betty Crocker. Again, that's a brand name. So it's something people have heard of and it's it's a good dessert. Just, just trust me on that. So anyway, got those two things. Also grabbed... Um, some toothpaste because they had restocked the Crest uh, 3D White. So I grabbed some more of this. If you've not picked it up at Dollar Tree before, if you ever, because usually I have a big supply of toothpaste because again, coupons and things like that. Um, 
I needed another, I don't know, like all of a sudden all my toothpaste just vanished. I don't know if all my kids have been taking it or or what, but I needed toothpaste and they had this at the Dollar Tree and it was Crest and so yeah, picked that up. So those are kind of the household things. Now a couple of other things, if you've followed any of my other episodes, any of my other videos, you saw all of the pretty um, floral arrangements or the floral picks that I got for the holidays. I found some additional ones at this Dollar Tree that I went to this time, and I thought they were so pretty. Really gold. Almost, this one almost has a little shade, a little tint of rose gold to it, which I absolutely love. But won't those be pretty just down in with the others that have the red berries and lots of greenery? I thought these were going to be wonderful additions. And um, so I just grabbed a, a handful and you know, my policy, if you see it and you want it and you don't get it, when you go back, it's never there. So anyway, this particularly was a great Dollar Tree. When I went in, everything was so organized. It was insane. I was blown away. Clean, everybody was friendly. The, the flowers were arranged by color and style. I couldn't even, I mean, I was like just blown away. The manager walked by and he heard me mumbling. He's like, is everything okay? And I said, this is the Chick-fil-A of all Dollar Trees. And he just kind of smiled. He said, we do our best. And they do, they do a great job. Um, anyway, so I'll be back to that store. <clears throat> so Christmas stuff that I saw out that was different or that I knew I needed and went ahead and picked up. These little LED uh, wire light kits, I love them. One is candy canes and one is Santa's. And they are so cute. And they just run by a little battery pack. And I'm going to get these for those little white trees that I showed you, the miniature trees last week. I got these to go on that. But also, I thought, what a good idea maybe to put around a Christmas package. Maybe for somebody special or for one of the children or something to put some on. And then maybe turn it on just before you give it to them or something. Just something cute. And for a dollar, what a great decoration. You could use this in a tablescape. You could wrap it around garland and put it over your banister, on your mantle. There's so many ways you could use it with, with having a battery pack. It's just amazing. You could put it on a wreath. That's another really good idea. So, I got two of these, and I'll probably go back and grab some more. Honestly, I was looking for, they make one with the little red truck with the Christmas tree in the back, and I couldn't find it, but I did snag these because I was afraid they were going to run out. So, I went ahead and grabbed some. I also went ahead and picked up some... Christmas boxes. You know, you're always going to need a box. Bags are wonderful, but I still like to see pretty wrapped boxes under the tree. And I you know, have decided, and I know I've told you all 16 times, that I want to wrap all of my boxes this year in uh, the brown craft paper and then use like ornaments for bows and things. Um, but still, the boxes I found were as cute as plain boxes at the, for the price, is what I mean. For the same price, these cute boxes are less than what I would have paid for the plain white boxes anywhere else. So I went ahead and grabbed some in different sizes. The first ones are the small ones and there are four in a package for a dollar. Look at the different designs. Is that cute or what? Got the little penguin. And then on this side, the little reindeer. Those are so cute, just a little square box. And then I also found this size. It's a little bit bigger, kind of a rectangle. There's three in this package. Isn't that cute? I love that. That's so cute. And then on this side, that's so cute. I love that. And that's a good size. To me, that's like a shirt box size is what I would call that. And then um, I got another set. I got two sets of that. It's just because that's like the size I probably use the most. Then I also grabbed some of the larger size. Look at these patterns. Aren't they adorable? There's two in a package on these because it's the really big ones. But I just always need these guys because, you know, when I was growing up, if you shopped at a major department store and you bought clothing items, they usually gave you like boxes that would fit if it were a shirt or a robe or whatever it was. Um, usually they gave you boxes. Now they just don't do that very much. So I always need these boxes. And then these patterns, isn't that pretty? And again, I apologize for the lighting tonight. We're going to work on that for the next video for these dreary, dreary days. But I love that in this side too. And again, I'm still gonna wrap them, but I still thought that's a pretty box. You wouldn't have to wrap them at all. And then this, have a Merry Christmas.
And then on the back side, it's just white. So there's just two that are alike inside. So I thought those would be um, just great boxes, great sizes to have on hand. But I will tell you this, go get them now because if you wait, they'll be gone. They'll just be gone. You'll go back or they'll be really picked over and that's no fun either. I also found some more ribbon. I've been trying to stock up on ribbon for the holidays for different projects and for gifts. So I found, I think I've showed y'all this one before, Holly Jolly Christmas. It's really pretty. And then I also, this one just says believe. I got this one and I love that. I think that's really simple and really pretty. And then this one. Isn't that pretty? And then I found some more of this one. You guys know I'm going to pick that up whenever I see it because I love it. Okay, so yeah, so that's all I got this time, but I just wanted to jump on and, and really I wanted an excuse to get on and show you those boo bags and I thought I need to show them all this Christmas stuff too. So we just did both. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're staying well and healthy, and I hope that uh, you're preparing for some fun holidays. Let me know what you're finding in your Dollar Tree. Just drop me a comment below, and again, if you would hit that subscribe button, that would be amazing, so YouTube will know that you want to see more of these. Um, have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.